Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for F1 Manager 2022, as we continue our worst to first run here with Williams Racing. And I started on this screen because I thought it was kind of interesting that we've basically already burned through half of our cost cap, only what, four races in, five races in? So that's a lot of money. Most of it for car part development, which is a lot, a little bit for facilities, uh, and then just obviously other things along the way. So that is a lot of money. At some point, we've got to slow it down again, <laughs> to be fair. Uh, obviously, there's going to be probably a few less facilities along the way, so hopefully we got to trim back that a bit, but definitely something for us to keep an eye on. Um, obviously, congratulations are in order because we did get first place. Good job. Consistent Theo. Keep it up, my friend. Nothing else there. How about our staff? Got a development point for this guy. More pit crew management, please. How's our pit crew doing? Still working on bit balance, folks, I guess. I guess this is okay. Just kind of keep them doing their thing. When's our next part coming along? 13 days. So it's going to be after this next race, unfortunately. But that's okay. It is another floor, which is big. New aerodynamic testing period coming up soon, which is awesome. And we will have new new engines for this next race, right? Because we're going to use our next set of engines. Uh, car part test center is low. Where is uh, 80%. Is this the time to go ahead and bump this one up as well? I mean, this is the last, last one other than the factory that would be getting a full actual upgrade. I think we're going to go ahead and do it. I don't know that we will do the factory when that comes up because I just don't know that we need to. I think we're fine with the car part development that we've got. If we did upgrade, it would give us six part manufacturing capacity. But do we need that? I mean, the development speed is nice because it can save us a little bit of money on when we have to rush and when we don't. But honestly, I think we hold off on that one. We still might do need to do some of these other ones once they get below the 80% mark to do a refurbish. But the refurbishes are obviously a lot cheaper. Now, just keep working on the cooling where we can. I think that's going to be a good idea. All right, let's get into this. Again, not much for us to do uh, part related, so we're just going to keep pushing this. Um, we're going to say one driver can always get in the top six. Do I dare say two drivers? It's a lot of money. What if I said both drivers top 10? It's more money. You know, let's go for it. Both drivers top 10, more money. Playing a little bit safe there, but potentially getting us more money. Uh, both drivers, and this one race though, I say both drivers finish top six. And then both drivers reach Q3, and both drivers reach Q2 for sure. Okay, I like that. the state of year-round summer it's the miami grand prix miami now this is our one let's see one two three four this is our fifth race we've already burned half our budget uh, this is gonna be a crazy year I, we may run out of development anyway no matter how we do it uh, i want to develop as much as i can i think we're gonna have to switch to research at some point anyway because we're just gonna run out We get down to our last 20 million bucks in our cap. Uh, that that barely gets us probably any research for the year. Uh, can we go back and look at last year's research? I'm not sure. Oh, sorry, not you. Uh, you. What kind of driver are you? Are you a aggressive driver? I actually don't remember. Um, let's see here. Car parts. I guess we'll keep putting the low ones on for now. ERS can stay. Gearbox can stay. Technically, this engine is now a practice engine as well, but we'll just leave it on there for the moment. Although we did prove that um, going below that 85% mark, we were still okay. Right, 8.0, 13.5, uh, 3.7, 3.35, and 0.25. Looks 
good. Barely on the traction, maybe. At least we'll know how bad it is, and we'll know definitely know which direction to go on that one. Looks good. Now let's go practice. What a rain on race day. It's going to make things interesting as usual. All right. You went down to seven. Stayed at 13.5. Went to four, six. Three, five, oh, and point seven. And that got you a great, a bad that has to be too high. Um, An optimal. Good job. Another great and an optimal. Only three setups left. Point two five. Oh, I went the wrong way. I, I keep doing that. Uh, revert. I don't keep doing that. I do that every once in a while. This needs to go to seven. This needs to go to 13, five, four to six, three, three, five, and point four L. There you go. That's better. And that gets us an optimal, a good, a great, and two optimals. 24 setups. Really just that, huh? All right. Good job, Oliver. Looking good there. Theo, you need to pick it up a bit, my friend. After a day of free Ninety-eight percent. All right, we got an optimal, a great. And then a bunch of optimals. One setup left. All greats and an optimal. Seven setups left for you. Wow. All right, let's go with that. Only 97%. Well, we definitely want to try and lock that in if we can. I mean, I say we definitely do. <laughs> Again, it doesn't matter. We've already got the points for it, but I want to. And I think we will be able to. We know where all the optimals are now, so. Should be good. Technically, two setups left, but I think. I guess we have a 50 50 chance of getting it perfect, right? So, at the very least, we should be at 99%, I would assume. Um, all right, parts. So, yeah, definitely with this engine. We're going to go to the brand new engine. ERS can stay, because obviously that can go all the way down to, what, 40, 35? Uh, gearbox needs to change for sure. We will put that gearbox on until that one gets low. That looks good. So we're already on our third engine. Definitely going to have to create engines along the way, but we kind of knew that was going to happen, right? I'm just hoping we can maybe avoid crafting quite as many as we did last season. Some of the ones we crafted last season were because of wrecks, so... We're trying to take into account the idea that wrecks could happen. Let's not put on brand new engines every other race type of thing. Simulation's actually not going too good. Or the qualifying, I should say. Wow, Theo? Theo, what happened, buddy? 
I'm, I mean, it's got to be because uh, timing versus for when the rain came out and things like that, maybe. I don't know. Wow. That's all right. With it being race, uh, rain on race day, it's going to throw everything out of whack anyway. It just be, it, it did cost us a little bit of money because we did guarantee it will be Q3. All right. It's not going to matter too much because, again, if the rain comes, the DRS goes away. But there are three DRS zones on this race and lots of curvy bits to be able to get some gapping if we at all possible. Okay. We'll see what happens here. When is the rain coming? Not till basically the second half of the race. And it looks like it will only be wet enough for enters. So we got to do as much work as we can in the first part. Uh, honestly, I do like this strategy here to be able to just push as much as we can with those tires. Although technically the hards first is saying that it's faster. Do I believe that? I mean, this will be very, very low when the rain comes. So if we want to definitely make it to the rain, we do have to go hards, unfortunately. I mean, I'm going to plug this in, but ignore it. So we'll go with that, I guess. Same thing for you. I guess we have to go the hards because we've got to make it to the rain. We do not want to pit before the rain comes. And we should be at 100%, um, well, 100% confidence on the rain, which, you know, take that for what you will, I guess. Because... I mean, does that, obviously you can't know the rain perfectly. <laughs> That's not even a real life thing, right? Uh, but you have a pretty, I guess it's our best confidence of the rain that we possibly can have. Well, let's go. This is going to be, I don't, want to tempt fate. I don't know. With the rain, again, that rain always makes things kind of crazy. One of the most exciting two. I mean, truth be told, I personally am not very good at the rain. And away we go. I'm actually pretty good at the rain in fo uh, Motorsport Manager. I am so far proven that I am not good at the rain in this game. All right, let's go. And there's an overtake from Williams. Come on, guys. Keep it going. Got to make up as much ground as we can before the rain comes. And a new position just gained by Williams. Which does mean we got to be a little bit aggressive before the track rubber is really where we want it to be, but I don't want to be too far behind when that starts dropping down. I guess we should have dropped this stuff down to aggressive already. Keep going, overtake though. Come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. Push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. Nothing, buddy. Theo, come on, you can do better than that. I think we can go aggressive on the tires a little bit longer. Have to go neutral, I guess. They all just couldn't get, get anything going on the. Uh, you're still doing fine over here, crazily. I don't know why Theo just struggled to get past this guy. All right, we're gonna drop down to standard. We're gonna drop down to balance. Same thing with you, standard balanced, I guess. Can we get an overtake here? No. Just, I don't know why this guy suddenly gets a burst of speed out of nowhere. And he just like teleports ahead of us. <laughs> this is what it feels like sometimes. Out 
Our team just advanced. Man, Theo's really dropping back here. Why are we so much slower than this Ferrari car? What is going on? And you too. Man, what's going on over here? That is crazy. I don't... I like blinked for a second and then like... They dropped back two seconds. I mean, are we the only, one of the only ones on hards? No, a lot of people are on hards. Yeah, we just cost ourselves a big chunk. I was I was paying too much attention to Theo over here. Didn't see his gap growing that much. Wow. All right, we closed it back up for now. We got to stay neutral for a bit. Oh, there's a looks like a crash or something. Theo picking up a fastest lap temporarily. Uh, are we going to be close enough to get DRS with, with Oliver now? We're right close within it, but not quite there. I think we'll be all right. All right, you're right on this guy's tail. I'm, I, I got to do one of these guys one at a time right now, because this for some reason, this track is just really messing with the intervals in different spots. Okay, since you're not doing harvest right now, we'll put Oliver on harvest. Oliver picking up a fastest lap. And passing. Interesting. Alright, I guess we'll put you back on neutral. And there's an overtake from Williams. Put you back on harvest. You're right on this guy's tail now. That's a good overtake from Alpine. A little bit more out of you. <laughs> Theo picking. How are my, my my guys picking up fastest laps so like crazy? This is this is kind of unexpected. A new position just gained by Williams. All right, I'm going to put you on neutral. Let's just settle in here for a bit. Maybe we can do something here without even having to push too hard. Now, see again. What is Theo doing letting this guy just slingshot past him so much? I don't understand. I mean, do we have don't pass the other team's teammate? I <laughs> mean, turned on. Like, what is going on? It feels very, very strange to me. To see Theo just feel like he comes to a complete standstill and the Ferrari guy just gets a burst of speed all of a sudden out of nowhere. Man, I really want to get past these guys. I want Oliver to get past him and do full deploy to see if he can catch up with those guys. Uh, I mean, honestly, everywhere is a DRS zone, so I think we just go for it whenever we feel like we've got a good spot to go for it. So let's just go full attack, go push, and we're going to go full on. Honestly, at this point, full on deploy. We want to slingshot past him and just keep going. And it's less about passing this guy and putting space between us and him, and more about catching up with the next group. Which I feel like we're close to doing.
Come on. Can we catch him? Can we catch him? Uh, yes. Alright, let's get on their tail, then we'll go back to harvest again. In fact, we'll wait for this next DRS to make sure we're right there on his tail. Alright, go back to harvest. Back to Theo. Got to keep an eye on him, but otherwise I think we're okay. Yeah, it's crazy. Maybe not. They are starting to gap him a little bit more than I expected. Uh, at some point we want Theo to try and do something here, I would imagine, but when is that time? Hey, we finally got past Ferrari for a second. Oh, that was a little scary. But we did get past them. So, go back to neutral for a bit. Oh, okay. We really need to harvest with Oliver here, but he's just too far behind. And there's an overtake from Williams. I mean, I don't know what to do here. I think we harvest and we just, if Theo gets past him, maybe he can close that gap for us. We've got to get the harvest going, though. All right, we're back on their tail again for the moment. Guys are very fast, though. All right, let's go back to neutral. We're, we got enough to do something with if we absolutely felt like we can, but I just need to settle in here for a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up. We're just gonna we're gonna settle in here. We're, we're fine. Let's just play the game for a bit. The game being like the game of you know <laughs> tag here, so to speak, or whatever you want to call it, um, until we start really seeing the rain potentially coming up, which should be around lap 20, 25 actually. So we got a long time before the rain. Another 10 laps. I'm just, just kind of settling in here. Man, he's just dropping back, even just on normal, on, on, on uh, neutral. Those other cars are really fast right now. They finally passed one. Good job there. You know, if you passed one, I'm actually going to put you back on harvest for a little bit. Because if they pass this, it's not the end of the world. That's a good overtake from Alpine. Did you just spin out? Because how did you just drop back so far? What? Alpine just advanced. That was crazy. There's a, this is a very dynamic race. I mean, yeah, there's a little bit of gap here, but I feel like this is going to get closed back up again pretty quickly. So a lot of dynamics here. Are any of these guys going to be pitting before the right time to pit, which means they lose a lot of time? It looks like there's some of them might. We shall see. I think that was a crash. What a crashing, like straight up crashing? No yellow flag. Let me move my face to the middle here so you guys can watch the 
the weather. Only a 35% chance over the next four minutes. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. They yeah, lose them. The spot's not great. But again, anything, everything's going to change once we pit in. So I'm just, I'm not going to stress it just a second. Now, I do got to figure out what order to pit these guys in. Probably Theo first. And if we did, is it better? Let me try and check this. Um, what do I want to look at? I want to look at the pit itself. Is it better to run, come out on this track, these tires? On the wrong track. I got which which tires are worse on the opposite track. I feel like inners on drier tracks are less negative. So if we can pit him an, a lap earlier than the rain, that would be ideal, I think. I'm actually going to have you both harvest because it, this is, we're getting close to where we want to pit and we want to be as full as we possibly can be. It may mean we lose some gaps, but I think we'll get them back again. Are you guys pitting for inners or are you guys just pitting for regular tires? Because if you're pitting for regular tires, that's to our advantage. Was that a crash? Multiple cars, I think. I think we're okay to go back to neutral now. We've got pretty good chunk there another crash okay we're gonna ignore you uh, okay oh i didn't see the rain i am so focused on these guys totally dumb and not paying attention to the rain you guys are sitting here yelling at me hey dummy the rain came all right we would have gotten the notice though right that hey it's time to pit sooner wouldn't we um wow this is bad this is actually really bad we just lost everything because I wasn't paying attention enough. Sitting here watching this. <laughs> Why do I fail so much at the raid? I always fail at the raid for dumb reasons. Because we got to hold another lap before we can pit. So we've lost everything we could possibly gain. Literally everything. I am so bad at the rain. It doesn't matter now. I mean, we're we're done. We've we've lost the race. I cannot believe I did that again. Why do I keep screwing up? Why is the rain the thing that gets me every single time? Why is it the rain every single time? I hate, I hate that I'm this dumb sometimes. I know that's harsh, but it's just, it's frustrating because I was trying to pay attention to too many things at once. I mean, we're going to have to try and do something. I'm, I'm very bummed right now that I screwed up that much. I normally try to be a very positive person. Sometimes I, but I'm also a very harsh person on myself. There's, that's, that's the difference there. I tend to be try to be positive, but hard on myself at the same time. Take it for what you will. Interestingly enough, we're slowing down our own driver right now. Big time slowing them down. Yeah, we've lost this race because for no reason other than just me. And that's so frustrating. Looks like a good move for Williams. I, I, <laughs> the sad thing is that I always, I'm like, surely I can outsmart these guys. No, I just wasn't paying attention and outsmarted myself. Like, ah, 
I'm not going to stop talking about it. I'm sorry, because it just bothers me so much that I made that much of a mistake. Crashing would be less bad than that, because crashing, not a lot of control over it. That is just us. Again, it's just me. It's all me. Like this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. All of these guys right here that have two pits. We should be miles ahead of them right now. If I hadn't made a mistake, we would be absolutely miles ahead of them. But the mistake they made was less severe than the mistake I made. And the funny thing is that it's not realistic. If I was literally out there on the sidelines, would I miss the fact that there's rain falling on me right now? Of course not. It's just I was looking over here and not over here. Uh, I should have left my face over in the top right corner because that way you guys wouldn't have known how badly I messed that up until <laughs> until it happened or something. I don't know. I could have played it off like, no, no, the rain just started. I think we've had a car run wide. I don't know if we're going to have to pit again or not. I mean, these enters aren't going to last forever, but they did take, typically take less of a punishment from going down below the line. So sometimes we can, can play it out. All right, we're going to go to full 16. There's literally nothing I can do. We're done. We lost the race. Uh, I don't think Theo gets back into points. And I don't think there's any chance that Oliver uh, gets catches up with these other guys. So I think we've completely, like I said, we're just going to accept it. I made a mistake. I can't do anything about it. I'm sorry, guys. I, If you can't tell, I'm more bothered by it than any of you ever could possibly be. I mean, could I min-max this more and get Theo up the line? Maybe, but the highest he could probably get is 10th if he was able to leapfrog all these guys, and that's still not points. So at this point, I don't think there's a there's any value there. Let's get through the race and move on to the next one. Rain always is my Achilles heel. I, I know I can do better. I just continually do worse. I, that's the part that bothers me. I actually know that I could play the rain way better than I am. I could outsmart the computer. Absolutely. I just keep not doing it. I keep keep making just small mistakes here and there that add up to be massive mistakes. The small mistake here, I missed the pit by one lap, right? Probably one lap. By missing the pit by one lap, we cost Theo, you know, 30 seconds of race time. Like it's, it's, it's insane how much one lap makes a difference here once when you get the rain. And that's my thing. I'm always pitting either one lap too early or one lap too late on the rain. And it makes such a massive, massive, massive difference. Oh, well. At least this will be a quick episode. You guys don't have to suffer through it too long. <laughs> Neither do I. I mean, I guess we could go ahead and push the fuel. I mean, we might as well. I'm going to run these these tires to the ground too, though. I'm not, I'm not going to pit for extra tires here at the end, obviously. I don't think anybody else is going to either. So disappointed with myself. I'm just, uh, I know I can do better than that.
All right. Well, we're going to put a cut in there. Again, I apologize. I... <laughs> I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.